regular season was outstanding for the Grand Rapids girls basketball team. Just three losses on the season, and they came into tonight's class AAA quarterfinals on a seven game win streak with a tough test ahead of them Power taking on Academy of Holy Angels of in the first Under round. Nine. Holy Angels jumps out to an early Triple run. Jenny Bowman dribble drive and the layup cuts the deficit to 15. Clock winding down in the first half. Grand Rapids hanging on down by 15. Amanda Sherpin with the put back loader. Holy Angels led by 20 into the half. But the second half, there was a visible spark in the Thunderhawks. Taryn Hamling drills the three. But hold on, more from Hamling gets the steal on the Holy Angels inbound and takes it in for two. It's now a single digit game for the Thunderhawks. Hard fought effort for them, but they go down 93 to 69 the final. In class, double A Duluth Marshall taking on Providence Academy under five minutes to go. Marshall is down nine, but guess what time it is? Jenna Neepkin's time that is gets the bucket and the foul. Down to a nine point game. Neepkins with a drive kicks it out to seventh grader Ava Morato with a hand in her face, hits it. Marshall isn't going anywhere. They weren't getting stops on the other end, though. So back to a seven-point game on the next possession. And why not? Neepkins from the parking lot. Under a minute left. Marshall down four. Gianna Neepkins. Are you kidding? They're back within one. Providence answers the other way. So now just 40 seconds left. She's not going to do it again, is she? Yeah, state tournament record 67 points for Nipkins, an unreal performance for the future Utah Ute. It's a tie game with 13 seconds left. Lions have the ball. Grace counts strong with the left hand. Providence up two, so Marshall has to hurry. Nipkins to Murado. She gets fouled going to the stripe, needing them both. First one up and good. The second would be in and out. A heartbreaker for the Hilltoppers despite 67 from Nipkins. They fall 94 to 91 in the state quarterfinals. And in class A, Mountain Iron Buell opened their state tournament against Cass Lake Bina. The Rangers fell in a hole early but shipped away all game long. Just before halftime, they get it out to Lauren Maki. Tie game at 24 at the half. Late in the second half, MIB down four. Hallie Savela, you betcha. Huge three to bring the Rangers back within a point. And with less than 20 seconds to go, Lauren Maki is going to get fouled, so a pair of huge free throws. She hits one, and then she hits the second. MIB takes their first lead of the game. Back the other way now, 1.2 seconds left on the clock. The Panthers need a bucket, but they get blocked. MIB only leads for 17 seconds, but that is all they need. They go on to win it. They'll advance to the Class A semifinals at the Target Center next week. Congrats to the teams moving on, and congrats to all.